Broadcasting from the lush but not lavish studios located in the basement of the O'Keefe Institute for Advanced Film Snarkitude. This is Real Spoilers, episode 707, Little Orphan Annie, <laughs> First Kill. Oh, uh, that's a movie. That I mean, was... hey, if we can get Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. What a weird... How does that happen? Because <laughs> it fell into the public domain. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Look yeah, for okay. the Real Spoilers, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh short films coming out soon. Oh, yeah, right. Wizard of the Oz, we could do that. Yeah, yeah Wizard of Oz has been out there forever. We I could think. do yeah. Frankenstein and the Wolfman and all mm-hmm. kinds of stuff. Oh, we could make our own, what would you call it, like a monster Couldn't yeah. be any group. worse than what they did. Well, you've, yeah, it can be worse than Monster Squad. Wait, yeah. wait a minute, that's not what, what I meant. meant. <laughs> that, was that a computer? Yeah. yeah. Because that was weird. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so we are joined this week by Real Joe, <laughs> yeah. not, as we like to call him, Fojo. Fojo. Oh, wait, I man. Like he wasn't here last week? Yeah. Nice. Surprise. Oh, wasn't I think me. People, so we used computer <laughs> software to emulate your voice. It's too eerie, man. It did really good, except it, sometimes it sounded like you were reading, and people were like, Joe can't read. Yeah, we know better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just not... tries to wing it. Yeah. He doesn't take notes. <laughs> it did, honestly, what it sounded like is I pre recorded it. Yeah. And then Kevin spliced it in. Which like... worked out great, which is why <laughs> I was telling Tom the fact that we were having technical issues because we're testing recording video this week. Right. We were setting up for about an hour and getting everything right. And so when he said we're having technical issues, I'm like, well, that's perfect. I'll keep that in and I'll make it so that people will think, oh, well, Joe dropped off and then he re recorded the synopsis. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. So totally it, it, I, I think the through line of that helped. Oh, technical difficulties. I think if I hadn't known what was going on, it was pretty. It's also it's too eerie how it sounds just like me. Oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. mean, it, it sounds like you reading a script or something. not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a pretty good episode. No, no, no. It was. It was. Yeah, you guys did awesome. I'm sorry that uh, I let you. I dropped the ball and, and you went missed, out of town. You missed a, an opportunity to to set a record oh did i really to completely blow up the brad hyan role you could have shared that oh, episode I I, and and i guess that's true been in I was the league of ask. show sharers and have been on and, an episode oh, it's a man. whole new maybe yeah. i'll maybe I'll, sh- I'll share it now it's I, a, let me do it real quick it's a brave new world yeah i can, yeah you right really now. dropped the ball there i was thinking it would be a whole new rule I, look man i was out of town and i had no cell service and then when i got back into town it was like oh by the way <laughs> we're gonna blow your phone up I had like 400 emails, and <laughs> texts, and message, all kinds of stuff. So let's go around the table and everyone can introduce themselves. This is Joe. This is Kevin. And this is Tom. It's probably easy to fake me because I'm so monotone anyway. <laughs> well, well it's, that's the problem. Is somebody doesn't know, we get it all the time. Wow, who's, is that Tom? Is that Joe? I yeah. don't know. I can't <laughs> figure it out. Uh, shameless plugs. Don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, wherever you find a podcast, you can find us while you're there. Be sure and... Follow us so you never miss an episode. Maybe leave a review. That's always helpful. You can also find us on the Facebook, facebook.com slash real spoilers. While you're there, like the page, join the group. The group is called the League of Show Sharers because we're hoping you will share an episode. People who were kind enough to share an episode last week and, as you might recall, (laughs) the week before. (laughs) If you're following along at home. Yes. (laughs) Include librarian Cynthia, Gabriel Lugo, Tammy Lynn Powers, Betts. I'm starting to think she only got married so she could have a longer name <laughs> to take up even more time in the League of Show Shares. That's my current theory. I like it. Theory. I like yes. it. Julianne Jordan, Chris Falls, Ralph Tribble, Heather Sachs, Travis Tewitt, Chris Magic Man, Josh Rosen, Christopher Rex, David Rojas, Vertigay314, Matt Naglia, L is Not Well, Batman, Rye Guy, Ronnie Castle, Binge Movies, In Session Film, Geek to Me Radio, Ryan Terry from the Forza Crowd Podcast, Invasion of the Remake, Make, Mike, Mike, and Oscar, Feel and Film, Control X, Spoiler Piece Theater, Minorities Report, and Chris Williams. And allegedly Joe has just shared, but I cannot verify I haven't that. yet. But, uh, no, he I didn't retract, even do it. I retract that then. But I, you missed a wonderful opportunity. I did. I didn't even, th- I didn't even think of to the... To torment 
Brad yes, Hyen. to circumvent the Brad Hyen rule. And we all know how we love to torment Brad Hyen. It's the best. So it is the best. It is it's the best. America's favorite national <laughs> It's the best. Oh, also, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Spoilers. We're for five bucks a month. You get all sorts of bonus content, and you help us out, and we like you extra. That's right. We're done. We have finished the Evil oh, Dead. Patreon's over. Do it's, not subscribe. Do not, please don't. It's done. Wait a minute. <laughs> Joe. We just had to buy a whole bunch of cameras and software. <laughs> <laughs> no, take it back. So just if you're if you are of the Patreon, just hmm. keep an eye out on the Patreon page, and I'm going to throw a poll up there. Since we finished the Evil Dead, about what's next, what you want us to do next? Well, the people. Matt threw out an idea of doing Hellraiser, and I said no because there's like ten of them, and only three of them went to theaters. Mm, yeah. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, okay, so okay. I don't have, I want nothing to do with that. Like Slapshot. <laughs> well, wait. There's like two Slapshots. Is there really? That are direct. <laughs> there's like <Yeah>. two. <laughs> but there's the. Oh, you're saying there's two sequels? Yeah, direct to video, misbegotten sequels. Yeah. Oh, that. Well, the, yeah. those are because yeah. man, Slapshot is wonderful. Oh yeah, <laughs> so good. it's very of its time. It, it, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's like the bad news bears. Right. Right. Like yeah. yeah. We can't be giving free advertising to these guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, don't cancel the Patreon. We got to buy stupid mic cubes. Yeah. For... <laughs> Come on. But no, have... like, pay attention to the to the Patreon if you have the app or uh, even online, and there'll be a poll and. You guys can decide what you want us to do next. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I guess there's all that. Let's dig in, shall we? This man. Okay. <laughs> See, that's what I was missing on the AI. Yes. I realized every time the synopsis starts, <laughs> this movie, this, <laughs> ma- I was like, dang it, I it's, missed. You know how much you like Malignant? Oh, yeah. This is my Malignant. Okay. Because, like, this is not a good movie, right? Like, the one and two are not good movies. But they are so one crazy. And two. The Orphan 1 and Orphan 2. So the two movies that exist Correct. that we're talking about right now. Yes. There's okay. no other 1 and 2. It's just this is 2. Well, what? No, there's a first one. Well, you're saying it like there were two prequels or whatever. Like, oh, no, you're no, You're saying no. 1 and I'm 2 sorry. are not. You make like, it sound like it's this yeah. long established no, no, franchise. No, no, and there's no, one no. movie and then 13 <laughs> years later. I did not mean that. I'm because, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, just to be clear, because I haven't seen the first one. So I just, I was like, did well, I miss you, two of them? No, no, no. So you, are, are you ready to be spoiled with the first one? Well, well if I you think seen I already... the second one. <laughs> yeah. But there is like the, the spoiler in the first one is crazy. Like, yes, I want right? to know, because the reason I'm curious, even though I know the spoiler, is I want to see what the point of the movie is, like how they present. Is it about like creepy things are going on? You don't know if it's the kid or like what is the quick premise so the, of? So the first one is Peter Sarsgaard. One of them. Is it Vera Farmiga? Yes. Yeah. yeah it's their husband and wife. Okay. And they, I think they've lost their daughter. Yes. Right? And so they adopt, they adopt an orphan. They adopt this orphan. Which way? Well, it's, if you uh, if you adopt a child that's not an orphan, that's just abduction. It's <laughs> called kidnapping. <laughs> no, they adopt an orphan; it becomes a non-orphan. But, but that saying, is true. You, if you're adopting someone, I guess they almost have to. Be that is orphan. also well. They true. have to have no parents or parents that don't want. Them. Right. Yeah. You can't just grab a child. Right. Like, I'm adopting you now. You're hey, mine. That's I, called abduction. I didn't title the movie. I'm just throwing it out there. That's why it's called Orphan. So they adopt. Why didn't they call it Adopted Girl, Tom? Because <laughs> it's too long. Uh, yeah. Nobody, nobody likes that. Yeah. yeah. Adopted. Uh, oh, that's also that's <laughs> not bad. That's yeah. So trademark real spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> so they adopt this child. And the entire time things are happening, but the way it's and you paced, know it's the kid. It's not so like the it's audience a secret. knows. Yeah, okay. it's yeah. You you know that that the orphan is crazy normal. and doing. Oh, I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> the adopted child, the adopted the orphan. <laughs> huh, I don't know what that in this context. It's like it's, sure what uh, that means. <laughs> what's the, what's the? It's you can't use that term anymore. That's the adopted child. Yes, but they is orphan offensive now? No, not at all. No, Both she's my not parents an orphan. Are dead. Anymore, I'm no. an orphan. Yeah. Are you? Well, uh, but you're an adult. That doesn't count. <laughs> you weren't an orphan when you were a child, someone though. Made, someone made that joke on a movie or TV show, I remember, where it's like they're I'm, grown I'm adult, a, but their parents eventually died. I'm, I'm an, an orphan. orphan. Well, I know there's in Mr. Saturday Night, it's like my favorite line of the movie. It's not that great of a movie, but no. like, but they're. It's the Billy Crystal one, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and he plays like the old time comic. So he's playing a guy that's probably supposed to be in his 80s. And like, the, and he's got a brother who's a few years younger. And like, I think their mom's still alive and she dies. <laughs> And they're sitting around the table, and he's like, well, we're orphans. <laughs> yeah. That's a good joke. It, it is. is a good joke. Yeah. So, yeah, you know it's the kid. Okay. But 
they make Vera Farmiga look to be crazy. Okay. While right. she's trying I to see. like, look, I'm telling you, like, it's this child. The kid ends up trying to like bang Peter Skarsgård. Right. Okay. Which so is also, but similar. but she's the act. It's the same actress. It's the yeah. S- I was wondering, it's man, the she's same like twenty actress. something. Yes. And yeah, she was she... fourteen when she made the movie, playing ten. Correct. And so now she's a hundred and nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing is, yeah. So they they do all that, and then I think Vera Farmiga. So the but wins. the but the original Orphan before you know the spoiler is very unsettling because there are some scenes where you're like. Does that, this kid ten year old is trying to bang does this that thirty five year old want to bang the dad? Yes. And then like and and then you feel icky for even thinking. Oh, that. I see, because you don't know the spoiler. Right. At that point. And correct. so like oh, correct. And so like it's only got like a fifty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which is really unfair because Orphan is a great trashy movie. Yeah, right? that's what I mean by it's my millennial. Oh, and it was yeah. thirteen years yeah. ago. Yeah. I didn't know it was two thousand nine. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. really was a child actor. Right. Yes. She was fourteen at the time. <laughs> Legit playing child actor. And they somehow made this one a prequel, and she still looks like a kid. Like that's impressive. She's well, got very they, young features, but they use there's a lot of it's there's very, a lot of it's tricks. practical though. It's not the age. They're, they use body doubles and they shoot okay. it from weird angles. They, and, they, yeah. I think a lot of the cast wore like platforms yeah. in their shoes when they did oh. when they would. Do, so like, she's not really short. The actor is no, not, no. She's she. I, mean, she, I don't know. She might be short, but she's not like kid level short. I mean, right? Yeah. She's not that short. Because I think I read the actor is five three, which is not unusual height for average female. Yeah, yeah. So, but I okay. So I was wondering. I, I that's really clever. I mean, because I, I will tell you, I again didn't see the first one, but watching this one. And knowing that the actor was in her twenties, yeah, I'm like, wow, they did a great job. See, I was distracted off. by the magic trick aspect of it Agreed. for the first twenty minutes because I because I, I was just like, how I could do this. I could see how they they did it very well, mm-hmm. but it but I was also just I couldn't I had trouble getting past the idea of like Them I just want to watch how they're doing this there were and weird, not watch the were, movie. Oh, I there see. were some in the I think I agree with you in the very beginning. Probably the first half hour, there was some awkward cuts. Yeah, to where they could get the the child actor into the frame. Yeah, That's you know, interesting because I didn't. I don't know why. Maybe because I hadn't seen the first one and I was trying to wrap my head around what was going right. on. But I watched this and I was I was not taken out of it at all. I just well, that's, thought, yeah, that's well. That's I think it. that's the advantage of not seeing the first one. Yeah, yeah. Because I sure. don't know like how they did it the first time and how are they going to do it they twelve did it the years first later time because she was fourteen. She yeah, was 10. yeah. She, okay. she, she, she still looked ten. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. See, I'm thinking Orphan is some movie from like four years ago yeah, and no. she grew up a little bit. Yeah, no, it's okay. been a long time. Well, that is extremely impressive yeah. with the same actor. Yeah, yeah. Is, so. I know the first one like doesn't have great reviews on, you know, like I said, fifth like at fifty eight percent. And I think my theory on that is because I remember watching Orphan and spending the bulk of the movie on, well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> hmm. like that like that kid wouldn't know how to do that. Sure, like, that sure. Kid, like you're just you're making this kid have basically superpowers in order for this story to work. And like I really like that's. But yeah. you, you don't and, fall into like horror trope of like sometimes there's just kids that are creepy and do like well it's not about being creepy it's about her skill level right right so she's she's spoilers she's like thirty five right she's not ten she's yeah. got she's got that disease that makes her not age apparently so, it's a glandular issue is what who they were say. the t- wasn't there an, who was the actor that had that Benjamin Button <laughs> yeah. not, that's Brad Pitt oh. see that's movie magic that wasn't Brad Pitt that was Benjamin <laughs> Brad, Button that was Benjamin Button no uh, Webster right I don't know if Elliot it was Aries. a non-aging thing it, but but was it just a height thing I think it might have just been a height thing okay but who, who was then who was the other one Gary Coleman no oh yes Emmanuel Lewis was Webster that's the one I was thinking yeah of. yeah Emmanuel who, Lewis Michael Jackson carried him around like a toy N- really yeah oh yeah hmm connect those dots i they're pretty close together for you they're not yeah. tough <laughs> but when you get to the reveal like now you're like oh this movie isn't dumb at all right right like this movie's really smart right. and and she uh, would have those skills right right it's yeah. not crazy that she you know and and now it's like also oh now i'm not a pervert for thinking <laughs> she wanted to bone <laughs> bone the new dad right. like that's like she's 33 yes and she wants the date right and like also like how frustrating would it be if you had that condition, right? Because any guy that wants to bone you mm-hmm. is immediately a pervert. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it, you know, it's like that Groucho Marx line: "I wouldn't want to join any club that would have someone like me as a member." Right. Like any guy that wants to have sex with you, like is, is you're a creep, is immediately ruled out you're a creep. for being disgusting. That's there was, uh, in, in here's your comic book reference to that reviewer guy in the comic book Invincible. There's a character called Monster Girl, and she 
stopped aging at like 14. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've watched the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Monster Girl, is it's the same thing, right? Yeah. Where she can't age. And that's, it, she's like 37. Right. And she can't go to the bar. She can't yeah. date a boy. Because she may look for it. So she can't date a 14 year old. Right. But she also can't, you know. The, uh, I mean, the she, Eternals. Yeah, she's not. Oh, sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She's, oh, she's yeah. not a vampire in Twilight. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, so then that that premise of that movie is like Vera Farmiga trying to prove yeah. that Esther is not normal. Yeah. Got it. And um, they kill her at the end of the movie. I like, thought they did. Yeah, because yeah, okay. because she's... Uh, they kill Esther? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. which is why they had to do a had prequel, do a right? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, because they, I mean, they yeah, very... I mean, I've seen enough horror movies. Like, but yeah, she they, was fine. No, they very... <laughs> she, they're, <laughs> the, they're, they, like, run out of the house in the woods, and they have this lake. That's right. And, and or pond, and, like, the pond is frozen over. She falls through the pond. She falls through the pond, and then Vera Farmiga is, like, trying to get off the pond because it's cracking underneath her and then esther pops up and grabs her right her leg and then and then vera formiga says i she's like mommy help me and vera formiga is like i'm not your mom such a great, and, a great then, line. and then kicks her in the head yes and like you see her neck snap against like the, the ice. other way yeah okay. so like if and she's not supernatural no so right yeah, just, she has, yeah. just, there's nothing Person. yeah there's nothing supernatural about this franchise and so so she like you see the neck yeah, go completely okay. the wrong way, and then she sinks to the bottom of the lake. Yeah, so like it. game over. There's no. The only thing I will say is, have you ever seen the Halloween movies? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, I mean, uh, what kind of dumbass question right. is that? Yeah, I've seen them all a bunch. Well, no, I'm just to Tom's point. That <laughs> dude gets just. He, but, he's okay, not but, even as bad as Jason Voorhees. Jay, the Friday okay. the Thirteenth are the ones. But at just that like, point, then you've completely changed what this yeah. franchise yes. is about, totally. yeah. right? Like, like they yeah. they slid Jason's face down a machete, and they're like, "Oh yeah, he's back for part five. Yeah, yeah. I like. I, I think it's kind of cool how there isn't a supernatural element. How this is a serial killer, or basically just a yeah. murderer, and the he's only a crazy sociopath. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing I will say is that the title first kill I don't think this is her first kill well we know that it's not because they <laughs> show you the first yeah. ones and when she's in the she's the been killing. she's yeah. been a killing yeah so yeah this one we've got Julia Stiles and who I was like oh yeah you were a thing for yeah. a hot minute. this is like her return is it she hasn't I don't think she's been she's been doing maybe TV but she hasn't she been in, in those film in a while movies. I know that yeah she hasn't been in yeah. film I mean I'm not saying 20 years but she's maybe the born movies I yeah, haven't seen her in film in a long time yeah Save the Last Dance. That was the last time you saw her. I can't back that up. I don't think that's right. Ten Things I Hate About You. <laughs> so she was in a TV miniseries called The Lake? Or a TV series called The was Lake? Was it for Netflix, I think? I don't know. All right. And then she Prime. was in something called Dragon's Nine Realms. Can't be She good. was a voice. Oh, okay. That uh, seems fair. And then The God Committee. Uh-oh. Is that one of those like Uh-oh. <laughs> mega church movies? I don't know. <laughs> like, Red Flag. Oh, it's got her, Is it Kirk Cameron? It's got her and Kelsey Grammer in it. Okay. Kelsey Grammer has hair. Oh. oh. An organ transplant committee has one hour to decide which of three patients deserves a life saving heart. <laughs> Seven years later, the committee members struggle with the consequence of that fateful decision. Well, it's hard interesting. It's hard to not like see anything that Kelsey Grammer is in because I love Kelsey Grammer. And anytime he's on, it's like, oh yeah, I'll watch that. I watched a movie called Money Plane. You ever watch that? No. It's terrible. It's like about a flying casino. Mm. And Kelsey Grammer is like the guy that runs the casino. <laughs> it's got edge. Is it in so it. they're not they're like in international waters, basically. basically. It's got edge in it from the WWE. Oh well. Yeah. There well, we go. I mean, is that as good as those triple H movies? <laughs> <It> couldn't be worse. <laughs> the, oh, she's like... also in the Born Stunt Tacular. Like, what is that? Oh, like they record a little pre show like, footage oh. or whatever for the ride. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like Universal Studios. I Omaha. was hoping it was like an Indian. No, that's Jones what replaced uh, T2. There's oh, a born stunt show. Oh, okay. So that's cool. They got them to record oh, the video. I was video it was like an Indiana Jones stunt show. Oh, she was with, in Hustlers. Yeah, I don't remember her being in Hustlers, but oh, maybe she that's the Jennifer Lopez one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this one is this is. I thought it was just gonna. Yeah. It, it felt like it was just a rehash, right? Well, we should say that. We're first introduced to this is basically Halloween, like it's the opening of Halloween. I don't know how else to describe it. Is we've got a new psychiatrist coming into the hospital, and we're introduced to Esther, and Esther has already started to like play. It was Isabel Furman is the actor who plays yes, her, and yeah. apparently from the original. It is yes, the same. It's the same person. She 
has already started to like work her magic basically inside this insane asylum. She's got the one gal who she like jingles a bell or something and she freaks out and attacks everybody. She and she's candy. like, here's a piece of candy and then throws her in. She will okay. do anything to get a candy. Right. So I do like the, the, it's like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I'm going to go beat what up that. What would you do for a Tootsie I'm going to go beat up that prison guard for a Tootsie roll. So she man, she being uh, Esther manufactures an escape. Who is, what's her Lizzie? What, what's her real name? Lizzie Borden. No, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to call her Esther because that's okay. what she's called in the movie. Yeah. But they say, you know, they say it. Les- they give her Lizzie a different something. name in the very beginning because real she's, name. we find out that she has already murdered one family. And they're just like, they just put her back here. We just don't know what else to do with her. So we brought her back here. So she breaks out and she kills the she follows the psychiatrist home. She kills her, takes her gear. And we do find out that the the scars on her neck and her wrists are because she pulled so hard against her restraints that that's what caused these scars. And it's the it's this level of like, oh, that's why he's called Han Solo. Yeah. <laughs> OK, sure. I That's the origin story that I needed. Yeah. Is the, why she has scars on her neck and wrists. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's kind of a throwaway, though. I don't think they spend a ton of time. No, no, no. But I just thought it was a weird thing. to. There's a lot of fan service mixed in this. Yes, they explain why she does the paintings the way she does. Right. And, yeah. So, but I really like this was kind of a kind of a psycho thing. You're introduced to the new psychiatrist, and you think that's going to be the main character. That's fair. And and they kill her off. So no, I, <laughs> and then we're not. She's yeah. Not so I I kind of like that misdirect that they did in the beginning because she is introduced in a way they usually would film the main character. Right. You know, it's following her. And she's or you a, think that she's gonna? Yeah. Right. She's gonna be the one that's gonna be like, oh no this gal's crazy and then you know has to like track her down or whatever this movie had a bigger budget that would have been a total stunt cast absolutely right, right. it would have been like drew barrymore and yes. scream like, yes yeah exactly or what's her name in psycho yeah Janet Lee. so lena lena is that what she's called mm-hmm. here all right it's a real name for about 10 seconds yeah. and then she writts esther in a book oh well, it is an origin story That's true. so we should mention at least so esther go i, I feel like she just she goes to Google because they can't call it Google, right? And find does she is she looks up like missing children? Is that what she does? Yeah, she goes to a missing children's website. Okay, and is like, oh, this one looks like me. here's one that's this identical. One, this one looks like me. I can here's pull that one off. from a photo when I was a child. <laughs> right. I, yeah. She looks just like that little girl. I wonder if they did use her. I you know here's the thing about this plot. I don't know how they don't get sued. Hmm. I think there's a certain family in Boulder, Colorado. That may have a a bone to pick with the creators of this movie. Did something like this happen? I mean, this is kind of the Jean Benet Ramsey case. This is the th- oh, all right. Oh, but not the adopting an orphan part. No, but yeah. the, I mean the the twist. Yeah. Oh, yes. I it's see what you're saying. Some people's theory on what yeah, it's, it's happened. kind of the the the. The okay. major theory as to yeah. what actually happened to her. Well, maybe that's, I mean, an influence, but I mean. Well, the only way they could sue if they said, yes. I did <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yes, it is what we did. That's well, what they're I'm... all dead, right? Except for the brother. The mom well, I know John dead, right? is, but I don't know about the rest of them. <laughs> the mom isn't. <laughs> oh, my God. What? I mean, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, thinks... I thought you knew. <laughs> Surprise. <Yeah. laughs> everyone thinks the mom did it, right? No. That's, no, they thought the, the brother. The, they thought the brother did it. The brother did they it. They thought oh, the brother. And the parents covered it up. Oh, okay. I thought at the time everyone was like. The, the mom. I mean, that's okay. probably what it I didn't, was. I didn't hear the theory about the, the. I think it was okay. the first people it, thought it everyone was, was like. And then oh, they pivoted the. Okay. But I thought there was something that exonerated the brother that like. Oh, I don't know. I have never followed it that closely. But, but yeah, you would have to. I mean, what are that's they going to do? Yeah, hey, the, uh, the brother would be like, "Hey, <laughs> I need to get royalties for that story. Why? What?" Plus, Plus, if that's all it took to get sued, like that's law true. and order wouldn't exist. <laughs> oh, that's right. no. Well, I guess they put in the front of theirs are like loosely based on true stories. Well, right, but that doesn't absolve you. I guess that's true. But I think if it's if it's yeah, like unless something about public, if it happened, yeah, like if it's news, you know, you can make movies without the family's consent when you make a so and so movie, whatever. Yeah, like you can make when you're a public figure, you're you're in the public. What I don't know what the legal term for it is, but people make true story type movies about things. You know how you get competing movies of like yeah, this happens like when Amy Fisher. K- killed or didn't kill but shot Beat Joey Buttafuoco's wife in the face in the face and you get lifetime and everyone there were rushing three to make the movie Joey Buttafuoco Amy Fisher movies you said Amy Fisher and I went with the gal Amy. that cut her husband's 
Jack Boff. No, that's uh, Lorena, Lorena Bobbitt. Bobbitt. Yeah, and John a, Wayne Bobbitt. Yeah, um, it's a short movie. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> but, Kevin coming through. That was pretty good. But yeah, so like there were like three of those simultaneously. Like that's true. And the family isn't like approve, approve because <laughs> it was like Drew Barrymore played her, Alyssa Milano oh, really? played her, and somebody else. But the, like they, uh, I mean, Joe they Exotic were, stuff. There's two of those. They don't approve. Yeah. None of them like the way they're portrayed in that stuff. So okay, well that's in, so. But you can't make a Steve Jobs biopic. They made two of them simultaneously. Yeah, but yeah, and one is based on a book, and one is just a screenplay or something, right? Okay. So, okay. Yeah, you can. It's just you can't use okay if you wanted to make a Michael Jackson movie, like like they never have made a big a big Michael Jackson movie. Right. You can't use the music, right. which is what makes ah. the movie be- without their rights. Which is like there was well, there was so like the point. A Jimi sure, Hendrix sure. was it the Jimi Hendrix movie that came out a few years back, but they had they didn't have the rights to any of the songs. Oh, yeah. that sucks. I think they probably danced around some because some of his biggest hits he didn't write so they they could license them and oh, that, yeah. that way Wasn't but, like, that, well, that's but that the... was the running gag on on 30 rock where the gene krakowski, krakowski. character uh-huh. was in a janice joplin <laughs> biopic but they didn't have the rights to any of the janice joplin songs <laughs> yeah yeah well that was always the that was the thing about the sasha baron cohen queen one right they're like yeah you can make a story about his life but you're not getting any songs right and they're like yeah well I guess we can have Rami Malek lip sync yeah. mm-hmm. and win an Oscar. Ugh. So she gets away. She finds this picture of this girl. She sets herself up to be found by the police. And they're like, my fa-, she's like, my family's in America. And they ship her back to America. I, I love the twist. I don't know if we should just spoil it now, but I think the twist I, is great. I, the I twist is great. Yeah. Love the twist. So I cannot this, believe they came up with I this. I thought this movie was like a fairly mediocre retread yeah. until about 45 yeah. minutes in when they flipped the script. Like the first one. Yeah, although the 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 f- twist in the in the first one comes much much right. later. That's true. Like I mean, it comes like in the last like fifteen minutes, maybe yeah. twenty. But but this one comes about halfway through. <laughs> it's just crazy. Because I'm and, asking the questions the whole time. Like, wouldn't they know? And then I'm like, well, she's older. Like I keep trying to ask myself. Yeah. Like, but because they're would saying you only that fly been... there first before you get some kind of a video evidence or something. Because but... they're saying that she's been gone for four, four years. years. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, okay. But I'm just saying it seems very much like I'm just going to fly to this other country without any kind of other confirmation, whatever. But when you know the twist, it doesn't matter. Right. And the fact that they've been playing along the whole time, you should probably watch this movie I think because you the should, twist makes it. You should watch both of them. I do. I think you should watch both of them in order. And they're worth watching. Absolutely. They, and they're both I, on I will Peacock, say, I think. I, as someone who Paramount. has... Paramount, yeah, sorry. Who has, someone who hasn't watched the first one, I don't think you need to. I'm not saying you shouldn't, and I want to watch it eventually. But I think you will enjoy the process if you if you somehow already don't know the, the twist of Orphan. You you would if you don't know the it. twist, yeah. maybe hold out then on these. But I think as someone who knew the twist, I enjoyed this movie and didn't find myself going, well, I don't know what that's a reference to. You know, this yeah. movie played pretty oh, well sure. without knowing. Sure, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe... We'll just say we recommend watching this. It's a good movie, and yeah. you'll this enjoy is, this it. This is more. one of those ones where don't listen to this yet. Yeah, like let's watch both watch both of them, or at least the the, the new one before you listen to yeah. this. So spoilers: we know that the 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 real daughter of this family was murdered by her brother, her real life brother, and then the mom had to the mom and the brother covered it up, and, and the, the dad, dad and the dad know. is clueless. The dad thinks the daughter has just gone missing. Just gone missing. Yeah. So he so, has like there's this cop that keeps popping in every once in a while who's like So the I, cop, know. which this didn't make sense to me either. I'm like, why is that cop so why suspicious? Does cop care? Well yeah. clearly the cop four years ago something didn't sit right and he's right. been suspecting like, foul play. Yeah, like he he basically knows that that this is the this brother is did it, but he he can't he doesn't have evidence. Right. So he comes around and you see later on in the film that there's a little bit of a conflict between him and the brother. And, yep. and, and it's like he's been investigating this. So she this this Russian cop is like, where is your family? They're like in America. And then they ship her. This, the, they show up at their son's fence. This cop shows up at a fencing tournament. And Julia Childs is like, eh, what's this jerk off? So here's here? the fencing tournament. Yeah. Hats off to the fencing tournament Why? scene. Because normally in a movie like this, when they show a kid playing some hyper niche sport, yeah. they still are in an auditorium with like hundreds of people watching. Sure. And in this one, there were like <laughs> 20 people in there watching, <laughs> That's all they could afford. watching fencing. Yeah, right. And I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> no I do also no one's watching. A, there's, you're not going to have 
like 800 people going to a fencing tournament. Right. Not even at the Olympics right. do they get 800 people <laughs> yeah. for a fencing tournament. But I do, it's it's fun because... I was like, why are they on little tethers? I don't understand fencing, so, so why like, are they on... Because their suits have electrodes in it. Okay. So when, the, oh. when you hit them, it sends a signal. Oh, so you know you've been hit? So you know you've been hit. Okay. So, so it like sends a signal to a box cable. and it says, hey... You got, you got. Oh, big. okay, got it. Yes. So that's what they're for. Because I'm like, do they pull them back if they're stabbing too hard? What is that? <laughs> Rock and sock them robots. Hey. We're like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, but I also, it, you know, sometimes in these movies where you get people playing like, like you said, rich kid sports, and I was like, oh, fencing would be a rich kid sport. Yes, which yeah. is one you don't see very often. I was like, well done, lacrosse. Well done. That's the other one. I, th- I was thinking rugby. Maybe I don't know about rich kids support. Lacrosse was the other Lacrosse one. Lacrosse is one of the more yeah, uh, yeah. So insider trading, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, yeah. So they and their house is massive. It, this house, oh, I'm is sorry, crazy. that's a castle. That's an estate. Yeah, that, I mean, I in America, I was like, where is this? Where yeah. are you? They're like, Connecticut, aren't they? Well, I guess that, that makes yeah. sense then. All right, never. Mind. But like that house was, yeah, it's. When he I call that for, a castle. Especially when I see for, a house like that. for now three people. Sure. Right? Like there's no way this was filmed in the United States. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I mean well, just looking big at big houses like that. Not they, like there's that. big houses by oh, us like that. Yeah. Yes. The, the stone and all if that? You go drive down Clayton Road going. I east guess that's fair. And see what kind of houses you run this into. This is filmed in Winnipeg. Yeah. See, told you. Okay, but, okay, but <laughs> there <laughs> are <laughs> castle <laughs> houses yeah. down the street from us. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah, they uh, the cop says we found her, and they walk her back through. And Julia Stiles, it's interesting the way that Julia Stiles plays it because she you can play it two ways. You can play it, you can read it as like she's like, oh my god, they found my daughter, or oh my god, what am I gonna do? But you, but you don't the first time. This is like right. a sixth sense it's situation. Like, it's like get, it's like get out. Yeah, go watch yeah. this again. And yeah. now because I'm thinking back to the way that Julia Stiles portrayed that, like you were saying. And it's like, oh, wow, she's not worried about, like, oh, my God, my daughter. Right, she's thinking, right. how? Or right. what is <laughs> happening? <laughs> here? And the fact that she plays along, again, I think it's so brilliant. And the way they flip the script where I'm thinking, okay, this movie's about this crazy serial killer posing as a little girl. And I'm like, wow, the killer's being blackmailed. Yeah. I've just, it's right. such a unique premise for this type of and movie. They, yeah, and they <laughs> find a way to get you to kind of root for her. Well, they, they're they're yeah. worse than her. So right. you're like, it's so weird. They don't it's, breathe toot it. You know, where yeah. you're just like, oh. wait, I've got a root for the guy that had I was a girl like, excuse cha- me, the girl yeah. chained up in his basement with a turkey baster. Yeah, that's the good guy now. Yeah. OK. But yeah, so I, I think it's really smart. And it's like when we talk about mob movies or whatever. Just like, yeah. Uh, two bad guys and you want the better bad guy to right. win. <laughs> so now you're talking about several murderers and you're like, yeah, she's bad. We know that the orphan is bad. And, right. But it's like, wow. These parents are horrible, and especially well, the, the parents aren't horrible. Well, no, the mom is. Right. Yeah, the mom yeah, yeah. and the, the brother are terrible. Yeah, it, but yes, that's exactly right. Is you're just like they once the plot is revealed. So the the cop starts putting it together. It's first, there's this weird interaction in at the therapist's office where Esther gets the bird wrong, and even now Julia Stiles is like. Mm. And starts like, yeah, not all parrots are macaws, but all macaws are parrots. <laughs> yeah, like that's exactly it. Yeah. So, but that's after she knows. No, yeah. no, no. Well, no, the, she the, talks to her the like ther- a... the therapist says. You know, she mentioned the bird, but this wasn't the bird. Right. But she doesn't. But she doesn't say that to her until she knows. Right. She, she says, says it to, it to her. Rude. She says oh, because like, you're so, an idiot. So Esther, like, picks up on a snippet of conversation about that's right about the bird at at this office and so she acts like she knows the bird but the bird is a different bird right. now and so and then later the mom the the mom calls, calls her, her out idiot. on like <laughs> like I know what you were trying to do and you failed because you saw a bird and you assumed it was the same bird but it wasn't the same bird you because dumbass. I called it a parrot but it's a macaw and like, all macaws are parrots not all but yeah <laughs> the mom is such a jerk yeah. and it's, once it's, it's revealed that's exactly it there's a great like character flip yeah. for Julia Stiles where she is you th- you think she's this loving mother and she's being yeah hats just, off to her and because then she flips it her performance like, is very believable yeah. as the the mother who just got her daughter back after four years and then when it flips and you're like oh she yeah. needs to go right. like and really she does go. yeah in pretty impressive fashion spoilers that's what I'm doing <laughs> so no that's why I meant spoilers oh sorry yeah, yeah right right get right. to it <laughs> <laughs> so. 
the co- this cop starts putting it together and is like, this doesn't make any sense. Esther goes he's taking photos like he's a PI, and you're just like, what? Why? Who? What is he investigating? Well, he's in, because none of this makes sense to him, right? Mm-hmm. Like he right. worked the daughter's case before. No, I know. This... I mean, before we know the reveal before, in your oh, head, yeah, sure, I'm thinking, sure, like, sure. what is? And, which is great because now you're like, well, he's on to Esther. But no, that's the twist is he's on to the mom and brother. So it's that right. second oh, watch. Real... See, I was thinking he's on to Esther, which was going no, to lead him. No, to the he's right. on to. Well, he's on to Esther. Only well, because he doesn't, he knows right, that, right, right. She, that that kid doesn't exist. But sure. he wouldn't be there in the first place because is the audience the first time you watch this, you're thinking, what clues does he have that might not be really Esther? Right. But it's because he's already been on the case for four yes, years. I got now you. he's like, well, she's. I think she's dead. I, there's been evidence. I can't prove it, but I think she's dead. And now she shows up. There's no way. Right. That's and I actually that's a good point. I read it as he was like, this doesn't make sense. And that was like the that was the final piece to get to the mom and brother, but he's already on. Yeah, to the mom it's and a brother. it's a smart screenplay, and I also liked how I mean it was a little cutesy, but I did like it the way this movie's written. There are so many lines like the dad says, "I can't believe it's really you." Like they're winking, the audience knows it's not right. And they keep making the mom, the brother, the dad. They keep saying things that are like a little nod, like. Oh, sure. That are contrary well, it's, to the it's, truth. It's, it's, they kind of do that in the first one. I think in the first one that Vera Farmiga has like a drinking problem or they, like she was she, get, she she drinks and they. Yeah. The, yes. She does have a drinking problem because she keeps buying liquor, but not or wine, but not drinking it. And right. Like she's she's clean, but she hasn't gone through any sort of program. Yes. So she's she's right. white knuckling her way Where, through an alcohol addiction. Esther starts to like throw little like MS you had this drink over here and like so anything that Vera Farmiga would say would come mm. off as like crazy drunk speed yeah. right so that She's Esther gaslighting could, it's exactly yeah. what it is so I like in this one one of the lines that I remember is I think the mom says like you like you look like a different person or you're you're all grown up you're a a, a grown lady yes. like they keep in the yeah. script <laughs> saying things that are these can fun... I tell you that was one of my favorite parts of She Hulk is when Jen is interviewing the abomination. Yeah. And she says that he's made amends or whatever to Bruce. Oh, and the Bruce nod. is like, yeah, I was a, a comp- different, I was a totally different person back then. And I was like, was like that's yeah. the exact, that's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's the movie is written in a way where it's they very, keep saying meta. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I like it. It was clever the way they kept doing it because it didn't sound wink and nod, but, you, but it works. Listen, kind of, yeah. Pick it up. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. So, it never veers into camp. Exactly. Yeah. See, I think it does veer into camp. Not like that malignant. aspect of it. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Think, I don't think, you know, but yeah, this movie is a little, a little campy. This, it's, this is but, like an 80s straight to VHS movie all day. Like if this this had come out in the 80s, this would have been like a horror movie boom in the 80s, like VHS era. Right. This is a horror. This is I this is one maybe of, being the equivalent of yeah. that. And me, I, mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, yeah. It just it, didn't seem like I was impressed with how good the movie was. I thought yeah. I, I really expected this to kind of be. I don't want to say there's a lot of good streaming movies out there, but you know how there we used to call things straight to video. Right. Yeah. I was thinking maybe this was a kind of a cash grab. We have this IP from 12 years ago now, I realize. And let's cash in on it and make a stream movie. And I'm thinking, like, oh, is this going to be any good? Was this in theaters and or was it straight to Paramount? Uh, straight- I think they released them simultaneously. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. I was really impressed with from the the production, the acting. I they did a good job with this film. Yeah. No. And also, I mean, we we kind of touched around it. Is just the the practical effects that they used mm-hmm. to give you the the depth perception that Esther is three foot two. And which is why it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. You know, that's the thing is if they just CG did all, it'd been real bad. It, it can, yeah. it's, it can be rough. But I think so. What they did with this is they did some uh, forced perspective, where they filmed it in a way that Esther looks significantly shorter. They put all of your all of the main actors anytime they had a scene with the actual actress, they were wearing like lifts. Like two to three inch lifts in their shoes. I think I saw something on social media now, and I didn't really pay attention because I didn't know the movie and the actors. But now I've seen people on Twitter around the time, like last month when this movie got yeah. released, where they're up on a platform or had the big shoes or whatever. Now right. I, it makes sense. Yeah. And then the other thing they did is they would do again. They, they got better at the cuts as the movie went on, but they would do these weird cuts. I don't know they if they would... got better or the movie got better. Maybe. And so maybe that's what it you is. You stopped. Look, you gave you. You started focusing on the story instead of what they were going to do. Instead of the other aspect. What yeah, was the weird yeah. cuts? I can't think of it. I mean, so I know there were just, times like, where you would like, see her full from, body. You would see her from the front, 
and then they she would have to like walk away from something or yeah. run away or like and they go they would hug just, the mom and you see a full body so it's right. clearly a different person yeah but then they would like flip it okay. real like you know it's it's just an awkward cut right. where okay. they would, she would run at the camera and then the camera would flip and then it's a, it. and then it's like a child running okay. away so Esther is going to kill the the cop and in a I think this is the, like one of the best twists I've ever seen <laughs> is where the cop <laughs> thinks the cop thinks the mom has figured it out Right. So the cop has been stabbed. He's laying on the ground and he was like, ha ha, like, I'm not the only one who figured it out. And the camera pans back to Julia Stiles and you're like, oh, no. Like, and then you look at the time and you're like, we have a lot of movie. Yeah, right. Like what? This and, is a great twist. reveal. I did not see this coming. And then she, know. Julia Stiles shoots the cop. And I'm like, and you're why like, would you do what that? is How? happening? And then, of course, the reveal that the brother chance or Chad or whatever the gunner gun is that really his name gunner yes i rest my case yeah yeah i was like <laughs> these people are are so rich conservative they named their child after a gun yeah, right. <laughs> this is my son ar-15 i think Great. it's g-u-n-n-a-r like it's not like you're a that's gunner even, that's even worse <laughs> yeah so we get the reveal that gunner accidentally pushed the year accidentally accidentally yeah in a fit of rage yeah. which we do get a recreation of what i assume is what happened i didn't pick up on that that when he did it it was he, he was doing what he did is exactly the, real the same okay. thing pushed her his sister down the steps killed her and then the mom knowing that it would break everything covered it up protecting her son See, crime uh, in the doesn't process. pay. What? <laughs> if if they didn't cover this up, they wouldn't have a crazy killer come into their house, impersonating. <laughs> see? That's fair. This I is see, a great. I see where you're going with yeah, that. Yeah. It's a great PSA. Do not cover up a crime. <laughs> you will have a crazy <laughs> woman a posing disease. as a child. Who the, who Julia or Stiles? Or you'll become president of the United States. Ta da! No. Who Julia Stiles does often refer to as like a genetic freak. Randomly in this movie, I was like, dang. That is a but she's a bad guy. But insane. she's a villain. That's so true. That's villains, true. Yes. yeah, yeah. I was like, that's good. it's different from a, from from a filmmaking standpoint. It's okay <laughs> to let the slave master use the n word. <laughs> right. They're bad. Talk to Quentin Tarantino. He'll yeah. tell you. Yeah, yeah. So they they kill the cop. They go home, and this is where it's just like, well, this is a completely different movie now. Yeah, yeah. Now we great. have now we have to like blackmail the murder the <laughs> your kill your monster. We have yeah. to blackmail the yeah. monster. This into is crazy. Playing. Just crazy that the killer, <laughs> like the the Jason, and, the Michael Myers, is now the one getting blackmailed. <laughs> and I also like the fact that it doesn't feel like a reach right like she she sought out a family on a missing yeah. children's website so like it's it doesn't feel crazy that she landed in this situation right right it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like like a a plot device i mean i know it's a plot device but it doesn't right. feel like one because it because she kicked kicked it off I'm going to go to a missing children's website and find a missing child who looks like me. Right. And she just happened to find one where they weren't really missing. It was a murder, <laughs> which seems plausible. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, right. So, yeah. Uh, there's there's another scene where I think that she, like Esther is painting with her not dad yeah. and is like doing the same thing he did to Skarsgård where she's like making moves on him and he's like and he doesn't. Does he? I'm trying to think if he says he's like what the fuck. Off? No, he what? doesn't pick up on it. He just right, like he just yeah, he seems like, blissfully unaware yeah. because his daughter's. Back. He just interprets it as my daughter, yeah. right. like and so interprets it as familial affection. <laughs> I love when Julia Stiles is just like, "What do you think you're doing? Like, yeah. you're gonna sleep with him? Like, you're out of your mind." And she's so evil in the way she's like, "I'm gonna go upstairs and sleep with my <laughs> husband," <laughs> yeah. which is great. I mean, her performance is fantastic. You hate her, and so much so, you're like, "Can." Esther, the the can we get on murder? <laughs> can you please kill these people? Yeah. So there's the the dad. I guess is a, he's a painter and he's going to a, and he stopped painting because his child's disappearance. So right. he's so he hasn't been himself. And the reason why Julia Stiles wants to go along with all this instead of just calling this murder out and and whatever taking care of her right away or whatever, she's like, no, I need him back. Well, he's back, right? Like he we he. They get him back when Esther shows up, right? So the dad's going on this trip, and it looks like Esther's about to push both Julia Stiles and the mm -hmm. brother off the platform and then get stopped. By a rando passerby. Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, okay. He just runs into him, yeah. yeah. 
She's got a canister with the dad's artwork. That's he's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to get coffees, and you see her walk around the platform from behind them. She's about to just use it to push, push the two of them right. as the train's coming. <laughs> and this guy's like, oh, watch where you're going, little girl. And she's like, ah. It's like Sideshow Bob. She does. She yeah, she's stepped a, on a rake. stepping on rakes as it constantly. <laughs> So the, that would have been a pretty funny, like if they went in totally a different direction. Yeah. The whole movie's about Esther trying to kill these two awful, <laughs> like, like worst murderers. And is, and is thwarted. Yeah. And, like yeah. a Pink Panther movie. That's, exactly. She's yeah. got an Acme like bomb kit that just won't work. <laughs> yeah. So this is another where, so Esther runs away and she, well, I guess they're walking away and she goes, what were you, what were you going to, you were going to kill you us. You think you can kill me? And she goes, and I do like that. Julius, I was like, that's it. We're done. Like we're ending this yeah. now. And the, so Esther grabs like bear spray from her purse and sprays Gunner in the face and steals the car keys and takes off. And just in a, another weird scene where she's she being Esther is driving down the road and she thing. starts putting on lipstick and then Put smoking like a cigarette. And and she's got her little hat on and the cop pulls her over. I I wouldn't even know what to do. In a situation, right? You, you pull- saw a supposed fourteen-year-old driving around. With I think a she's supposed to be even younger than that. Yeah, because she's supposed to be. I think she was supposed to be nine in the first movie. Yeah. Oh. So she, she's okay. like ten. I mean, oh wait, no. She, but the character she's playing here, because she's playing a character. Yes. Uh, her character is playing a character. So right. Like, right. Yeah, she's supposed to be fourteen. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still. Yeah. <laughs> so they they send Esther back home to Julia Stiles. Which is only and a couple years Gunner. before driving. So like I mean it's not implausible she would it's know the, how it's, to drive. It's the or... it's the way she's sitting in that chair where she's like so like an adult. Yeah. Yeah, right. But she's trying to play it like she's 40. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like she looks like she's Jacqueline Onassis, yeah. you know. It's and she's great. like, "What? Why did you pull me over?" Yeah. So they go and this is where she's like, you know, that's it. We're done. Julia Stiles. They're going to kill her. And yeah, she stomps upstairs. And then the mom to the brother is like, like we're that's doing it this now. Yeah. We're doing this now. So they push her down the steps or she falls down this in the recreation of what we assume happened to Esther in the, in they're, the beginning. They're having a, you know, a kerfluffle. They're they're <laughs> yeah, they're sure. fighting and whatever. And then the brother gets her at the stairs and just and throws, throws her. her, throws her down the steps. And at this point, the dad calls. So Julia Stiles is like, nope, everything's fine. Love you, bye. He's like, you know what? I think I'm going to come home. I think I'm going to. She's like, no, no, no. D- just, okay, fine. Can you take a cab? Yeah, I'm like, a little busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming to pick you up. And, of course, the, the brother's looking where the body was, and Esther's yeah. gone. In Michael very, Myers. Very is typical, it, yeah. yeah, exactly, slasher fashion. They end up, I think the brother and Esther end up in, like, the dad's art studio, and Esther murders the brother. Does she stab him? She shoots him with a crossbow. That's what it that's is. And right. then yeah, yeah, yeah. furiously stabs him. Yes, that's yeah. right. Very like, much He's like, like, I'm going to fence you to death. And <laughs> she's, she's like, like, okay. It was like we get Chekhov's fencing, and then it's like, <laughs> I totally forgot about Chekhov's crossbow. <laughs> it's yeah, the, they, uh, do, they do another one in this movie, too. What's the other Chekhov's? Oh, the, with the cop that he puts the knife in the cutting board, and they yeah. focus on the knife, and then yeah. they come back later, and you see it's missing. It's from missing. The, it's the uh, Indiana Jones, going back to that, and the, the gun with the sword. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's like, we're done. It's a great improv. It is a great improv. Yeah. I mean, it does mean that the hero of our film shot an unarmed man, but go on. He was armed. He had a sword. <laughs> he was 60 feet away. You're not wrong. <laughs> but he was <laughs> going to come kill him if he didn't shoot him. Well, eventually. <laughs> yeah. Well, when he walked towards him, he yeah. could have just not pushed him into the propeller like that other guy. So I'm trying to. Oh, they get up. The, the house at this point is catching on fire. I don't remember how. That's the other Chekhov's fire. They, they, I thought earlier in the movie when Gunner was having his little party and the mom and dad are coming back from the gala, he says, "Oh, I, you know, this kid's pretty good. At my age, I would have set the house on fire." Oh, I was waiting for, and then it didn't happen immediately, so I forgot about it. I thought that, so that's is kind of a wink because you know from the first movie that this house is going to burn down. They tell you because they tell you what happened. They They, tell you that the family she was with prior, like the family, all died in a house fire. Right. Yeah. So you, so you, I forgot about that. You know that that I mean, if you're if you're familiar with the first movie, you then if or if you remember it, right? Joe, (laughs) thanks. Six concussions. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Then you know that like this house has to burn down. Right. Which is a little bit of a stretch because the family died in a house fire. Well, the son was crossbowed and he was in the house. <laughs> right. The well, parents fell and hit their head on the curb outside the house. The da- well, that's true. The Those dad, two were not but, in the house fire. But you, can, you could also read that the is they jumped out of the window. Yeah, they went to the true. roof, tried to get away from the fire, and they fell off the true. roof. Like there are ways. And I was only teasing, honestly. Yeah. Can't but, explain the brother. 
<laughs> well, but you don't know how much of his remains were I guess were that's left. true. I mean, totally. You know, this was a pretty bad it? fire. And, I mean, also from a from a from an effect standpoint, this is the worst effect it's in the whole movie. It's real bad. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame. It this is, is real bad. bad. This, this was, is like, this is almost as bad as the flaming fire tracks from Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are bad. Like, that movie's great. Nobody ever talks about how bad bad those effects are pretty bad they're literally they standing me, on the flame no of yeah. course you don't it doesn't bother you like we don't nobody cares because yeah. the movie's Cause everything great. else about the movie is yeah. amazing so you just kind of like well they they they, they screwed up i just right. never really thought about it like, like they just, they when they superimpose the 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 flaming fire tracks like it's touching it's michael touching. j fox is literally standing in the middle of yeah, fire. yeah, yeah. i was yeah. always wondering how they did that honestly like it never bothered me and i was like they over they i was over... like i guess they have fire retardant pants on or something <laughs> i just never thought about I just, it the, it's the, i just assumed it's superimposed yeah. that's, that's it is yeah, yeah and i just that's funny because i never thought so yeah i was only teasing about the, the other thing like the retcon but i it's a shame i was gonna bring up the fire thing it's a shame this is at the end of the movie because i think this movie is so good yeah and then you get to the finale and the fire so bad it's pretty bad yeah. that you're like see that's what i thought the whole movie was going to be that quality of, right. of filmmaking oh i see I like see. If, if in the beginning of the movie they had a fire and it was fake like that the whole movie you'd be like, well, you know what i mean yeah. it would take you out of it where sure. now you're just like this is these effects are awful yeah. but We've got, I, I gave so it a pass far, i've it got was... four minutes left and it's been right. great until now and i enjoyed yeah. the whole movie so it's it so it worked at least to not ruin the movie but it's a shame because now it's probably it's... like if your wife cheats on you when you're like 80 <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, you know? go for it. I don't care. You're like, you know, like, we had a good run. <laughs> we had a good run. Like, you were good the first 60 years. I, like, what am I going to do about it now? <laughs> well, 60, that means there's still 20 more out there. Mine though. probably doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, go get yours. Yeah. Yeah. So they get Julia Stiles and Esther get to the roof, and there's they're fighting on the roof, and, of course, now they're both hanging off of the roof, and here comes the dad, and... Julia Stiles is like, she's not Esther. She's bubble. You know, she's crazy. She's this. She's that. People are always so strong in these movies. Yeah. In real life, I mean, unless, no... unless you're a tonal guy, <laughs> you're to, just, just you hang. need a lot of upper body strength yeah. to hold on to one just person. To hang. With one oh, oh no, no, just a hang. Yeah, right? the long. I mean, you can do it for several seconds, right? Yeah. But like when you're there for two minutes and there's a person next to you and you're sc- sh- scuffling and you know, it's just. Most people do not have the upper body strength to, to hang that. on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just always it's just a movie trope. So it is. It is very much. And also, a, when like give give me your hand, like do you know how hard it is to thing. pull the person up? Not going to happen. Hand. Yeah. And it's always like an older person <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah. But I I love the way they construct the scene where basically not only does he have to decide who he believe he has to decide which one he's going to say. Correct. Yes. Like that's There's, great. We got only one choice. Yeah. And he doesn't choose Julia Stiles. But yes. This movie is brutal and not. But a- that's the choice, right? Like, if you think if you're, I mean, if you're forced in a situation between sure. ser- saving your spouse or your your child, I love you, but you pick the kid. Yeah, and and so like he he makes the quote unquote right choice, and he's still the good guy. Yeah, right. Good, well, for sure. That's well, you, yeah, it's an impossible situation. You you're not a bad guy no matter what choice you. Well, make. I mean, you I could mean, be if if he knew going in, right? If he knows, well, that, if he knows, and he saves Esther instead, well, no, then that, you're the bad guy. But clearly, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you're not a bad guy for making that choice. He doesn't sure. know. You know, it's just you're not a bad guy if you you're, don't know. You're, you're, you're a just, bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> you're a bad guy. Yeah, you're a, and just because you're a bad guy, but, you're a bad guy. But the kills are brutal in this movie. From the beginning, when she slams the security guard's head into the to the wall. Of the also, cell. I call kind of bull on that. I don't think she's strong enough to smash that guy's head in. Right? If Michael Myers does it from Rob Zombie's Halloween. That makes sense. That's the part where I, I didn't know if there was a supernatural. Like watching this for the first time and not knowing yeah, the other I one, I was kind of yeah, curious. Just, I, the, the, are you telling me that the, a 14-year-old could swing my head into a wall? But she's, but she's not, not a 14-year-old. But she's got the body of a 14-year-old. But she could maybe have the... You know, the, there's there's some oh, people that are really skinny that have incredible strength. That's fair. That's so fair. since she's an adult, maybe she has the dense muscle fibers. So... Even though I don't know, I feel like she'd still have the like. If we're saying that she still has the in the, the body of a fourteen year old, well, they basically say the glandular disorder stops her from growing, like aging. But they don't ever say that like her she's muscles like baby, atrophy she's or like anything. Baby Hercules. <laughs> yeah. So, but either way, either way, yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. No, no, no. Yes, she yes, smashes yes. the head against the wall. Blood the candy everywhere. lady is mm-hmm. stabbing a security guard like crazy, and blood's going on the wall. And there, and and, she's beating him with a nightstick. Yeah, yeah. yeah the nightstick is yeah. splattering the blood. Right. And then when she kills the brother, and when she, even when she kills the the therapist, right? Like that therapist is at the bottom. And the when she goes and finds Esther's like bio, 
and at she the therapist's the therapist? house. Yeah, remember she kills that therapist. I didn't remember that. Yeah, she knocks her down the steps. Remember? She kills the cop. Which, well, she not kills the cop, but she stabs the cop in the back a lot. Yeah, when she kills that therapist in the very beginning of the movie, and she was like, the therapist falls down oh, the I'm steps. Oh, I'm sorry. That th- I'm think there's another therapist not, with no, a bird. No, okay, no, not I, the one in America, the one in Russia. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. yes, that's brutal. Because she's she's like, usually it only takes one. <laughs> that was my. <laughs> that's one of my favorite lines of this movie. Is where she's like, oh. That usually it only takes one. You, you and bludgeon she, and you think she already <laughs> killed the beginning movie therapist, right? The not Janet Lee yeah. style kill, and then she comes back to finish her, and so that's brutal. So you, you see blood splatter on her face, so the kills are very brutal. The brothers especially, yep. she's killing him. But so yeah, so Julie Stiles falls, and it's not just like oh, the impact of hitting the ground killed me. No, her head hits a curb, <laughs> and blood splatters, blood on the and street. brains, like splatters <laughs> yeah. into the street. Yeah. So the the dad's like, oh, what's going on? I don't understand. And Esther goes, we did it. Like, we can be together. We can do this. And he's got his hands, oh. like, on the side of her face. And I don't remember this, the, if they did this in the first one or not. Her teeth fall out, her false teeth but fall that's, out. But that's, that's, you, I, they don't fall out accidentally. But you, when they're doing the reveal, they sh- they show her is that what it was taking off the things and so she she has like fake teeth to hide how bad her Gnarly teeth are teeth. yeah yeah so the dad's like got her they don't have fluoride in the water in estonia <laughs> i guess can you blame them yeah i don't know no. maybe they do i don't, I don't know, know. Like, this the, could be our cultural <laughs> this, this is it 708 we're done i yeah. think it's yeah. more just that she doesn't have kid teeth because you, as a kid but they're gross yeah, they're like okay. brown and they're, gnarly. Yeah, like they're oh, like true. yeah, they're, they're like just real, a little yellow in this one. Yeah, right? it's which I thought was a bit of a flaw in the film because in the sec in the second one, the neck with the first one, but yeah. the when she takes them off, those teeth are like okay. way more than just a little yellow. And the they're, time hasn't passed. She's getting no. Adopted, it would so. it would be like six weeks if later. That. Okay, yeah. so that is a big retcon then. Because, yeah, yeah, like they, she definitely has fake teeth, but she, like. Or veneers. They but did not get decayed that quickly. Right. She yeah. just looks like she smokes in this one. Or something. Just yeah. a little yellow. And right. not kid. Drinking know. some coffee. Yeah. Like when you see them, like they're gross. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which is what I thought because I think I've seen clips or whatever yeah. of her taking them out and they're gross. Like I've seen that, like even though I haven't seen the first one, you know how you just somehow see gifts or pop culture oh, osmosis. Yeah. Yeah. Big, time. Big yeah. time. But this is a horrible for the dad. <laughs> so the dad is a good, <laughs> the dad's a good person. Yeah. He doesn't know about the murder of, of, his real daughter he just wanted his daughter back and this whole time he's innocent while the wife and son are playing this trick on him you know they're pulling right. this con and so you feel bad for him and now he didn't save his well the wife was bad so you don't feel but he doesn't know that right and so he his last moments are him being tricked and i chose the wrong one and now this crazy person is trying to hook up with me when my <laughs> wife just died right. right but no i think that that's a, i think it's a great scene when he's got his hands on the side of her face and he, his hands just kind of like touch the sides of her teeth yeah, and, the, and then knocks the veneers out and he's just like what is happening yeah. <laughs> and, and she says we can be together and he was like no and then she's like what the he drops he's, an he's like yeah. not with teeth like that <laughs> yeah. how are you crazy yeah and then she doesn't necessarily like kill him but he stumbles he falls backwards and like i think the roof is wet i think it's raining or either way either way they're on a he roof slips on a fire, off, right. he slips off the roof and then yeah. he doesn't get the same curb treatment that julia styles gets this is he the just, impact just the, yeah. his body crumples when you fall off a castle it's still That's pretty fun. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. Probably a three story or whatever. right. Yeah. So the you know the cops show up. This house, like we talked about, we knew this house was going to go up in flames. And then she's she being Esther is back in a and not a, a, I guess DFS I guess is the best way to describe it. And but they're it, basically doing the the lead into the next movie yeah. where yeah. they're like, oh, who's going to adopt her? Family? Who's going to do this? And, yeah. and then that we know that. Poor Peter Skarsgård. Sarsgård? Sarsgård. He's sorry he's not a Skarsgård, so he's Sarsgård. That's our mnemonic device. It's wow. your mnemonic device. Oh, no, hey, that well, works. works. <laughs> so, that's good. Yeah, he's Thanks, sorry Stephanie. he's not Thanks, a Skarsgård. Stephanie Tanner, that was pretty yeah. good. That's the that's how I learned what a mnemonic You're device was. Yeah, so we know that poor Vera Farmiga and Skarsgård. No, Sarsgård. He's sorry he's, he's not sorry. a Skarsgård. Sarsgård is going to yeah. meet a similar fate. But I think he... I think he's a little creepier, I think, because he almost He's like into it. I think so. Yeah, it's like, been a minute, but I but it's like not their daughter. Like he right? always plays so weird. He does play that, weird. You can't really tell if that he's you, being can, you can't tell if like is is he down for this? Right, right, right. Or is he just like this kind of weird, slightly disconnected? Sure. He, he's 
like Christopher Walken in that way, right? I can like, see that. Like you're like I or can't... Nick Cage. He just has his own right. way to where and he's got this weird cadence to how he talks. To yeah. where you're just like, I don't know. He, like, was... he always seems like even when he's playing somebody who's decent, he seems like he's playing. He's pretending to be, <laughs> to be decent, good to be decent, right? Yeah, right like it's right. yeah. So it's like, which was also part of what gave you the weird vibe in the first one because you're just like, is wait, into it? is this what like and then and then you immediately feel like you're the weirdo (laughs) for even thinking what was i thinking oh wait maybe he's in an edgar suit oh i made i made that joke the other day and nobody got it at my house i was like what are you somebody said something about sugar water and i was like (laughs) what are you like vincent you know vincent d'onofrio and they're like what get out of my house and that's and that's how this movie ends it's like the the social worker and a nurse are talking they're watching her paint or draw a picture and that's i think that is almost i think that's the that's how the movie opens yeah, do they? Is, I was wondering if they recreated the I, beginning of the. Last I think one. It, I, it's been a while since I've seen that, and I should have rewatched it. I just rewatched, but I don't remember yeah. how it opened. It's, yeah. I, I think it was almost like an Annabelle. Yeah, comes home. So she would have a lot of money creation. coming with her. I mean, those parents were loaded. Yeah, but does she get? But the only way to have the mo- to get access to that money is to is to go back and claim that you're the daughter. Where if she claims she's the daughter. But if there's nobody, well, they there know to, she's the daughter. There's nobody there the, to prove uh, that you're not the daughter. The daughter, yeah. she came from the house on fire. Her parents died in a fire. They know that. That money would have to come with her. They probably. Yeah, I she don't doesn't know. have to prove it. Everyone thinks she's the daughter, mm. and there's nobody you know left I mean? to say that she's not. Right. Besides, I mean, the she's the last. Yeah, I mean, that would be a the cop or the therapist. Yeah, right. Like those are the two that. That'd be a big gamble, though. <laughs> That's a lot. I mean, pe- eyes turn on you when there's that much but, money, but and you're true. the only survivor. But of, she's yeah. a kid, though. The yeah. adults, the police. I mean, they just just legally, she's the right. the next the heir to that money. So I mean, I just figured they would set it up for. Her. Apparently, she dies too early to claim it because she's a kid and it would go into a trust. Oh, that's yeah. fair. That's I was just saying that, like, yeah, maybe that's maybe you know, like, yeah, maybe she's killing time because it's in yeah. a trust because so. she would get when she's <laughs> 18, for me just... gets it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it works I don't out know, great. How, what do they do in that situation? You you adopt a serial killer posing to be a rich. <laughs> well, no, because Vera Farmiga kills her, but she kills her by proving that she's not Esther, oh, so she would so. no longer have a tie to that there money. So that money goes to some Stupid Vera some Farmiga. cousin, the dad or the mom. Yeah, right, right, right. The, government, the government gets. It. No, well, it, it would go to the next. Really? It would go to a uh, if there in, if there is one. Like we don't uh, know. Right, right, right. No, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, if it yeah. if there isn't, yeah. I wonder how often that happens. A lot. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's why wills and estate planning are very important. People. Ooh, that's important the whole too. reason behind this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so get your affairs in order. This, this is sponsored by LegalZoom.com. Yeah. <laughs> Use promo code Real Spoilers at checkout. <laughs> Uh, so, but yeah, I think that like we talked, it's on Paramount Plus. I think you can get like a seven day free trial if you have Walmart Plus. It's free for a year, which is a oh, nice really? savings. Yeah, so but you also get Showtime. With, with well, that's Paramount. Paramount and Showtime are merging. Yeah, but I don't know money, if it's yeah. happened. Yeah, yet. it's for it is. I think it's, it's for extra. It's twelve twelve ninety nine. Like, I thought Paramount Plus and Showtime were merging. Like, not they have this oh. promo deal, but I thought they. I read that they were merging. Is Paramount buying Showtime? I don't know. I don't think so because Can I mean, Paramount maybe it has anything. They don't. They've got a parent company, right? They're not solo. Viacom, CBS, Viacom. Oh, okay, okay. But I mean, could be just, any worse than Warner Brothers. Because the other day they just popped up, so I presume as part of the new deal, it just popped up and said, "Do you want to add Showtime?" Yeah, twelve ninety nine. So total. I signed up. I got a free trial, and it said for twelve ninety nine, you could add all of the Showtime. Stuff. Yeah. So, but so for Walmart Plus, if you have that, it's like a hundred. I think it's ten bucks a month, but you get free delivery and stuff from Walmart, and then you get a sixty dollar year subscription to Paramount Plus. So I oh, mean, okay. it's a really good value for hundred and twenty bucks if you want to get your groceries and stuff delivered from Walmart for free. And also, if you get Showtime, you can watch Yellow Jackets, which I there cannot recommend enough. That was a good it one. It was great. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. I've oh, heard it's fantastic. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys would dig it. But they got a lot of good movies and shows on there. Do they? Yeah. I'll have to flip through it. There you go. Yeah, well, there. Go wa- Honestly, go watch it. Like, this movie was a lot of fun. It was a lot I, of like, fun. I liked the first Orphan despite myself. I spent, mm-hmm. it's, I spent the first you know, 90 minutes of an hour and 50 minute movie being like, this is kind of dumb. And then at the end being like, okay, this is kind of awesome. And then... I thought I, I yeah I totally went in this like why are we doing this yeah. thirteen years later right like this this has no right to be as good or as fun as it was none whatsoever like I it, I fully expected to despise every minute of this film yep and same 
This they, is why you watch them. Sometimes s- they surprise they you. They sneak up on you. Yeah. Sometimes it's a cash grab. 13 years later trying to cash in on IP and sometimes they've got a story. Yeah. And they did with this one. And I think this is the same creative team too. Yes, yeah, so it's a different director. One. Okay. But like I think the guy who wrote it is the same, same. guy. Yeah. And it's also I just and I, I think she helped the actress that plays oh, really? Esther like it's had some Furman. Yeah. I did want to mention the production studio uh, okay. which was it was was a dark it's not Ghost House. It was the other one, Dark Castle, which were like a really big horror movie like production company in the early two thousands. I think. Oh, right. they came back. Uh, well, yeah, and they. I'm trying to think of like they did like the House on Haunted Hill remake, which is really good. Like that's a good little remake with with Ty Diggs. When, when Ty he, Diggs when he was popular. Yeah. I don't think that's early two thousand. I think mean, that's nineties. It is nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, and then Orphan was two thousand nine, and then this was two thousand. But they like they were. Like in the middle of that horror boom in the gotcha. late nineties, early two thousands, yeah, with like Ghost House and all that stuff. But it's fun to see. That. I saw that logo. I was like, oh dang, yeah. Now I don't know what to expect. Maybe they did thirteen ghosts, okay, which was fun. Like was that a Scooby Doo episode? <laughs> yes, but <laughs> but like it's with Tony Shalhoub and Shannon Elizabeth when they were popular. Isn't that Matthew yeah. Lillard? Matthew too? Lillard yeah. as well. And if you haven't seen Scooby Doo, that, <laughs> I told <laughs> you, yeah, Scooby Doo. Yeah, that's exactly that's a, a series. I, the Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Yeah. I highly recommend the remake of Thirteen Ghosts. If you like this after Matthew Lillard, there's another remake, or that is a remake. That the Thirteen Ghosts with Matthew Lillard is a remake. Okay, they actually the the fun gag with the the original one is you could have you had lenses, and yeah. when they would tell you put on. The, the the glasses you would see different you things? would see ghosts oh that's cool yeah that okay. was like the original gimmick of the first movie. what year how old is it? oh it's black 80s? and white no it's, oh the original it's a... one's like black and white okay um it's great too this film was directed by william brent bell and written by david cogshall david leslie johnson mcgoldrick that's a name yeah that wow. sounds like a law firm <laughs> yeah four four names and alex mace story by alex mace and I just wanted to mention the only thing about this that I, I liked the movie a lot, like I said, but I didn't think it was very scary. It was more of a like the, more of a thriller. Yeah. The kills yeah. were more like to me, like action, like, oh, man, that's a crazy kill. But I don't think the only scary moment was in the beginning when that therapist, there's a flashing red light because mm-hmm. she's escaped yeah. mm-hmm. and then it goes dark and she's like, hey, little girl, do your parents work here? And it goes black and then the red light shines and she's right in her face like that yeah. was a scare. But throughout the movie, I can't. Yeah, think I, of many. I, I don't think it's particularly scary. No, it's more of a psychological. Thriller. I think it's it's this is the with graphic kills. This yeah. is the gory eighties VHS era yeah. style. Also, okay. go they did Dark Castle did Ghost Ship. If you haven't seen that, watch the first ten minutes. Mm-hmm. And it's My the, daddy worked on a Ghost Ship. It is the greatest first ten minutes you'll ever see in a horror movie. What? No, that's I a huge promise. Claim. I promise you, just watch the first ten minutes of Ghost. It may be first five. Okay. It is astounding. Okay. Yeah. Carl Urban's in it? Sure. Carl Urban was in all kinds of stuff <laughs> right. before that's he was cool. in The Boys. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, I guess that's it for this one. Let's go around the table and everyone can say where to find them. This is Joe. You can follow me on the Twitter at Joey Butts, B-U-T-T-S 21. That's also how you know it's me because the robot voice said Twitter and not Twitter. Oh, uh, see. And you would you think know. that the, the robot voice would say things wrong. <laughs> no, I do. The real one does. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kevin. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, am I real? Am now I wait robot? a minute. <laughs> See? You'll never know. Follow me on Twitter at Kevin R. Brackett. And this is Tom. You can follow me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online, Facebook.com slash Real Spoilers. While you're there, like the page, join the group. And, of course, don't forget our Patreon, Patreon.com slash Real Spoilers, where for five bucks a month you get all sorts of bonus content. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Sykes is killed by the police. Get ready for a spoiler Won't say it twice Cause we